Um, the 2015 financial year has really been um, a great one uh, for our company. Our revenues have increased by 15.1% and our EBITDA has increased by 39.8%. But I wanted in the time available to me to just spend a few minutes on the outlook for uh, Netcom Wireless because I do believe that it's extremely good. Um, in fact, I don't think it's ever been stronger. Um, not only has our business grown very well by any measure during this last uh, year, um, but we do believe that it will grow even more strongly again uh, next year. And that's partly because the world seems to have turned in a way that appears to be very favourable uh, for us and for the products that we've been perfecting over the last few years. Perhaps I can try to provide some context without getting too complicated. Australians have become very familiar um, with the NBN. Um, it's been the subject of a national debate for years and years. There's opinions freely provided about which technology we should use where, how much it should cost, when it'll be finished and, and a lot more. And what no one debates though is the clear need for uh, Australia's broadband network to be upgraded um, so that it's got more capacity and runs faster to, pr to provide greater productivity for the company, country. Um, interestingly, the same debate as we've had in Australia is now taking place in countries all over the world. And unsurprisingly, in most countries, similar conclusions are being reached to those that we've made in Australia. In a nutshell, governments and telecommunications companies around the world are concluding that to roll out a new network quickly and with the least cost, a variety of different technologies need to be employed. And they need to be employed in a way that maximises the use of existing network assets like fibre and copper. Um, and so many countries are using a mixture of fibre to the premises, which is pure fibre all the way from the exchange to the front door. And they're also using something called fibre to the node, and that's fibre to a street cabinet um, from the exchange, and then using copper from there to the front door. These two technologies are uh, fast and they're cost effective uh, for cities and suburban areas, but they become too expensive, um, and in the case of FTTN, too slow when it's asked to go over long distances for outer metro and rural areas. So to fix this problem in Australia, we've opted for a mixture of broadband delivered um, via satellite for people right out in the bush and for fixed wireless, um, a fixed wireless form of broadband for those in rural and regional communities. And of course, Netcom Wireless has proudly played a very crucial part in this as we provide the customer premises equipment, the stuff that goes on the house, that makes the whole fixed wireless system work in Australia. And it really does work extremely well, providing some of NBN's uh, happiest customers who get uh, broadband in the bush at city speeds and city prices. Our revenues, in, uh, Netcom's revenues from fixed wireless, have increased over 200% in the last year and we expect them to increase again next year and then continue to provide a strong uh, revenue stream right into the future. But <clears throat> here's the interesting thing. As governments and telcos all over the world contemplate their network upgrade, they also have to confront the best way to get to that difficult last 10% of customers, those that are actually unreachable economically by fixed line technologies. And they have this problem in Norway, in the UK, in Germany, all over the world the same problem arrives, arises, which is how to economically get to the last 10%. And they're coming to the same conclusions that Australia has, which is that fixed wireless has a really big part to play for that last 10% of difficult customers. Having made that decision, they pretty quickly look around the world to see if anyone else with the same problem has come up with a good solution. And it turns out that in Australia, we have. We've come up with an excellent first-class world-beating solution, and it's come from Netcom Wireless and from Ericsson. And it's not just we who think so. A recent report from Ovum compared all of the existing fixed wireless broadband solutions from around the world and it found that Australia's was by far and away the best. And so, as it turns out, the world is turning to Netcom Wireless because we're at the forefront of an extremely important and potentially very large area, a uh, new area of broadband. Over the last 16 months, we've been involved in a tender process with a very major US-based carrier to provide them with a customised fixed wireless regional broadband solution similar to the one that we've developed in Australia. We understand that a decision from them will be forthcoming very shortly, certainly before Christmas. 
And given our substantial experience in the Ericsson NBN fixed wireless project, we believe that we're extremely well placed to be successful in winning this opportunity. But to be clear, nothing signed at this moment. We're expanding uh, our engineering team in Australia very fast, along with our sales team in the US. And over the next few years, this area will become a major area of focus for us. And the board has therefore decided not to pay a dividend this year, but instead to reinvest our profits in the wonderful growth opportunities that we have before us. The market seems to be supporting us well in this. And over the last three years, um, since we really started on this journey, uh, and started to press hard on the new opportunities that we see before us, our share price has riven, risen from 12 cents to $1.60. And that's a growth factor of over a thousand percent. And very, very few Australian companies can claim that whilst also remaining profitable for every one of those years. I think the wireless broadband future looks extremely bright. I haven't mentioned any of the work being done in the M2M world because I'll leave that to David. But just before I hand uh, you over to him, I would like on your behalf to thank David sincerely for his outstanding work this year. He has spent the majority of this year uh, uh, travelling, most often to fairly unglamorous places, where he's used his quiet and knowledgeable and polite delivery to bring many people around to our way of thinking. He's been incredibly well backed up by Ken Sheridan, our CFO, who's kept the home fires burning brightly whilst also spending his fair, time, uh, fair share of time on a plane telling our story, both here and overseas. And under all this is the genius of Steve Collins and his team of outrageously talented engineers um, in Australia. They've produced world-leading technology and they've done it faster and better than any of our competitors all over the world. So my sincere thanks and admiration to all of them and every single one of Netcom Wireless's team. Thank you and over to you David.